Hi, it's Joan Dutz. This month, we're looking at preemptive bids. And they're the most exciting weapon that you can unleash on the opponents. The lowest level of preempts are called week two bids, and they're very effective as well, provided you don't mix them up with one level openings. What's a week two bid? If you open two diamonds, two hearts or two spades, you should have a hand with six cards in your suit and a very good suit, but less than an opening hand. It shouldn't have values or honours in other suits. It should really just look like one suit. And when you open, say, two spades, partner doesn't have to bid at all but it's a very good idea to raise your suit if they've got a fit. This is called a preemptive raise if they sometimes jump to four because you're not always expecting to make your contract. What you've done is taken the bidding space away from the opponents. So try the hand I've got and the things you need for a week two are a good suit and six to nine points. You can add your extra length points as well, which would say make 11, but it would never be more than that. Opening a one bid is a different sort of hand. You might have six cards in your suit, but you would have values in other suits. So a week two bid really is a suit. It's just six cards, not strong, and the idea is to get in the way of the opponents who may have a lot of points. Try the hand and see how you go. And if you're a gold member, you can play all the hands. There are eight hands to play on week two bids and another eight hands on responding to week two bids in the online School of Bridge. This week, I'm also starting Zoom lessons. And next month, I'm going to do a Zoom course on refresher lessons because everybody in the beginning of the year is very keen to go over the basics, particularly this year when a lot of people weren't at their clubs and weren't playing a lot last year in 2020. So all the best, have a good week. Passes to us and we've got a perfect week two in spades. Six spades, high quality spades, king, queen, jack, and just about nothing of importance in our hand apart from that. So three and two are five and one are six and two are eight and one are nine high card points. That would be maximum for a week two. We wouldn't want to have any more points than that because that would become a one bid. We can also add the length for the two, the fifth and the sixth spade. So start with two spades. And that's where we're playing. Partner had nine points and only a singleton spade, but there's no way that they will be able to find any better contract. So although we've only got a seven card spade suit, there's no better place to play the hand. So let's count our winners and losers. We'll have one loser in spades, the ace, we don't know whether we'll have one or two heart losers because it depends where the ace is. If the ace is with west and we lead the three towards the king, we will only lose one heart trick. If the ace is with east, we will lose two heart tricks. So we've got two diamond losers. It looks like one club loser. Question mark about heart losers, we're not sure yet. And one spade. So play low, there's the king. And a club. We might as well overtake that with the ace so that we can play the 10 of spades and play low. Win the club. Take the other trumps out. Now, we should play hearts. I 
uh, the ace was on the right side. So we're doing pretty well on this hand. We'll lose a diamond. And now we're going to lose no more tricks. We've made our contract. So we lost one spade, one heart, one club and two diamonds. The opponents had quite a few points, but they were unable to get into the auction. The week two managed to steal the contract, so that was good.